R slash ask reddit. What's is completely normal but you find gross. Children with food on their face. And snot. Ugh people post pictures of them with food on their face and everyone thinks it's so cute. But I want a bath. And the snot. You. I worked at a sample booth and they'd come up with a face full of snot and grab samples. Always grossed me out. The Ben and Jerry's food truck was at Boston Common during the summer for a Shakespeare play in the common. Some kid took a spoon put it in his mouth. Then his mom took it and put it back in the clean spoon holder. The workers didn't see. So I told them after the kid and mom left. He looked so defeated like it had already happened that day. Just people's breath being in the same vicinity as my face. Doesn't matter if it's good or bad breath I absolutely hate catching any whiff of anyone else's breath. Once I woke up to find that I had been sleeping with my mouth open near my partner's mouth who was also sleeping with his mouth open. My mouth tasted like his morning breath and I very nearly vomited. Oh god. This made me physically ill. When someone else washes my dishes for me and I drink from a clean glass and it smells of rotting food and I look at my sponge and it's covered in food because someone thought that smearing food around my dishes with a sponge somehow made them. Clean you're all fired I never want to see you again. That's not normal. At least I hope not. A lot of people are lazy unhygienic ducks and don't care. For example, my sister wouldn't wash the underside of the dishes and they would be greasy and oily as duck. Perhaps not gross, but I am repulsed by holding chalk and writing on a chalkboard. The touch, the feel, the sound, everything. Same. Feels just. Terrible and dry. I, too, prefer M-O-I-S-T-U-R-E. Apparently not wiping your ass or cleaning it well, is normal. Source, I work at Walmart. Edit, how I know that people don't wipe their ass just from working at Walmart, aside from it being easy to tell if a person has poor hygiene and the fact that Walmart is notorious for having interestingly classless customers. I'll explain from another comment I added. I work in the pharmacy area, so some of our patients hang out for a couple hours. The smell just emanates from their lower region. I'm 5 feet 1, so especially with taller people. I can smell everything from your crotch area if you don't clean well. Unfortunately too, I have a few customers who have streak marks and walk around happily with them. I feel bad that maybe they might have incontinence, but it doesn't stop the fact that I have to smell it. Edit 2. Words. Wasn't there an article recently that talked about guys not wiping their ass out of fear it would make them gay? Yes that's true. According to statistics 97% of males that have wiped their asses when they were kids developed a habit of touching penises and beating the meat regularly. Well, even though I do enjoy it, it's pretty ducking disgusting that we put our mouths on each other's genitals. Yup, but most of us still won't eat the end bit of a banana. That little black bit that's pure poison? People touching their eyes. I can watch the goriest horror movies imaginable without flinching. But I can't watch my wife put in her contact lenses. Edit. Okay. I don't need any more stories or videos about eye touching. I'm turning off inbox replies. Mascara commercials bother me. That's too close to your eyeballs. It's not uncommon to poke yourself in the eye with a mascara wand by accident. It really sucks because not only does it hurt. Your eye waters and screws up your progress. Talking in a public bathroom. I don't want to hear about your Disney vacation when I got my dong in my hand. Steve. At least it wasn't your dong in his hand while hearing about Disney. That's the worst. True. If he's got my dong in his hand I want to hear other things. The sound of people chewing. The sound of animals licking themselves. Especially because they do it as loud as possible. Like you're just chilling at night and all of a sudden hear slop 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 and it gives you pause because there's no way a cat of all things should be able to make that noise. Or the other ducking cat who makes this awful half chewing half sucking noise like she's trying to rip chunks of hair out of her skin. The damn dog's the quietest out of all of them for once. Warm toilet seats. Something about that has always been disgusting to me. I hate cold toilet seats also. I'm impossible. Last time I visited Urban Dictionary, the word of the day was ghost cheeks. Defined as that feeling of a warm toilet seat that someone else's butt has heated up for you. The ghost of butts past. People's knees. Agreed. 
I like magnets and little green ghouls though. Milk steak. Childbirth. Babies. Humans. Dog walkers put the fesses in little plastic bags, which I support 100%, but what I can't figure out is why I occasionally see the full bags sitting on the ground. This is particularly common on a local hiking trail through the woods near my home, plastic baggies scattered along the trail, each filled with dog fesses. After going to all that trouble to scoop the turd into the bag, why not finish the job and dispose of the bag in a trash can? If you're taking a long walk and going to be circling back or taking the same route home, this makes sense. Better to leave it to pick up later rather than carry it your entire walk. If people are doing this and leaving them forever, it makes no sense. But if you will pass that spot again it makes plenty of sense. I used to do that until I ducked up several times in a row and miss picking them up on the way back. Now I just clip it to the dog's harnesses and make them deal with their own crap. Acrylic nails or long fingernails. Me too. When I see a woman with those it's an immediate deal breaker. Edit. Less ambiguous English. I don't think you're using showstopper correctly. When my dentist spits in my mouth. I prefer the hygienist do it. Especially when she has a firm grip on my balls as well. They teach that method at Dental Hygienist University to ensure your mouth is open wide enough. Probably will get downvoted to hell but pregnant bellies have always creeped me out. Something about how the skin stretches and it goes all big. Ever since I was a kid and my cousin got pregnant. The first time I'd seen this. And as a girl I was expected to be interested and want to touch it. No thank you mom. I'm good to not look near that ever again thank you. Like. You have a person living inside you. So creepy. One of my co-workers was 9 months pregnant and wearing a thin very tight t-shirt and all of a sudden I could see a foot press up against her belly. I nearly vomited. I'm a woman and I'm supposed to think that's magical and stuff. But you. Just had a baby in December. That shit's not magical at all. 0 stroke 10. Shower drain. You. When it's backed up with hair. Gag. Childbirth. We're all here because of it, and it's currently my day job to catch a baby or two per day, but goddamn is it like watching a woman's genitals go through a Vietnam each time. Every time, they ask me if I wanted a mirror to watch the action, duck no. I'm pregnant and I do have a morbid curiosity about it but every woman who has watched is like no trust me, you don't want to see. One woman said she snuck a peek in the mirror after and it looked like the joker's smile before it healed. I think the human body as a whole is pretty disgusting. Every person has stanky poop squishing through their gut nearly all hours of the day. Feet. I hate looking at naked feet. Feet and sandals. They just gross me out. I hate when friends come over, sit on the couch and rub their feet while they are just chilling out. You're not going to wash your hands after that. You're going to go dive your hand into that bowl of chips I left out for everyone. Duck off. My old friend had really nasty feet, like huge feet, white as snow with curly, scraggly black hair everywhere and very weird lumps all over the place. Whenever we'd hang out, he would immediately take off his shoes and socks, then rub his feet together on my couch the entire night, like he was scheming with his feet. That was mesmerizing, but disgusting. Smoking. Most gorgeous woman on earth can puff a cigarette and I'm instantly turned off. Even just the sight of a cigarette in someone's hand grosses me out. Can't help it. Walking into someone's home that reeks of cigarette smoke is absolutely disgusting. Opposite for me. Children. You are like the anti-pedophile. My husband calls himself a pedophobe. Baby food. Especially watching actual babies eat it. There is something about the sloppy mushy crap. The way it smells. Seeing it mixed with saliva, gooped all over a baby's face that just makes me feel nauseous. I can tolerate it sitting benignly in a pot, but as soon as it gets sloppy, new ope, pass, no thanks. I think something about it subconsciously reminds me of vomit. Wiping our asses with paper I'm still trying to figure out the three seashells. Salad when it's covered in thick. Creamy salad dressings so much that it's not recognizable as salad anymore. Ugh makes me nauseous even thinking about it. I think I have quite the aversion to mayonnaise. Loose hair. As in, hair that isn't attached to someone's head. 
feeling it on me or seeing it just lying around. Especially in clumps or anything like that makes me want to puke. Sitting in a hot tub with strangers. You don't know them. You don't know the last time they had a shower. And now here they are. Suddenly sharing their bodily fluids and dirt with you in what is essentially an oversized petri dish. In Japan you do. They wash themselves for about half an hour before they enter the onsen. Hot baths. Ever since the first time I lived with a girl roommate I've learned that women are absolutely disgusting. Honestly, it nearly turned me gay. Not quite though, because boobs. Have a wife and three daughters. Quadruple confirmation. A bit late to turn gay though. The sound of other people clipping their nails. Especially when you're at your office cube focused on a project and the clicking starts some random amount of cubes away. They always take like 5 times as necessary to get through the chore. Ah it stopped. Click. Also potlucks. I don't trust most people's cleanliness. I like to have blind faith in actual restaurant workers since they have to get a food handler's card. But for random folks that I see regularly not wash their hands after using the company restrooms or have disgusting desks, no. I don't want to participate in the potluck thanks. Pennies. They are the bastard of coins. Most are discolored, sticky and disgusting. Bath. I thought you said penises at first and got confused as duck. Wet soggy food, especially bread. Wretches. Spitting out film. I was ill once and felt like I needed to get rid of my phlegm. So I went to the bathroom, trying to throw this disgusting thing up. And it was so thick. I was so fascinated, in a disgusted way, by it. It just wouldn't go down the drain even when I ran water over it. I realized later on I had just spit out a green olive I had just eaten. People who let their dogs lick their face. People blowing their nose into a tissue. I just hate the noise and it grosses me out so much. I, actually, find it more gross to sniffle for hours opposed to just blowing it out and getting it over with but to each their own. What about those who use a handkerchief? Let me carry my snot around with me for a while. Having kids pregnancy. Now. I'm not saying all kids are snotty little loud things and I'm not saying pregnant women are ugly or gross or anything like that. I'm saying there's a weird body horror slash existential thing about having kids. Like. Existentially you just create a person out of nothing. A person with a mind and opinions and a life. And it just suddenly exists out of nowhere. I find that freaky. And pregnancy is all. Parasitic. And there's hormones that duck with you. And bits of you tear. And you're sick for months. And yeah. And also society pushes people to reproduce and women get a lot of shit if they don't have kids. It freaks me out how weird and tribal people can be to other people if they don't take part. When people leave their balled up napkins or straw paper on the table. It's trash and it does not belong near my food. Chewing gum in general but when people stick their gum on their plate while eating. I completely lose my appetite. My reflection on the mirror. Touching the bathroom door handles. And I especially hate public restrooms without toilet paper paper towels. Why even wash your ducking hands? Parent kissing their kids on the lips past toddler age. Even at toddler age it's a bit weird. A ton of tiny holes close to each other. Eating ass. I don't like that eating ass is now considered completely normal. Strap in. Grandpa. We're just getting started. I find it fascinating how often I see on reddit that if you're not 100% amused by a fart or burp, you're immature or a prude. Yes. Farts happen. And burps happen. And they're a natural part of life. But I don't feel bad for thinking they're gross. I'm not gonna be mean about it people do gross things and that's okay. It's forgivable. But I also don't find them funny. And I've seen a bunch of people on reddit who would label me an uptight a-hole about it. Like. I burp and say excuse me and don't expect my partner to kiss my gross burp breath. It seems like basic courtesy. Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.